the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is coming with a new design on top of lots of new features to make this Samsung's best fold yet. Let me know in the comments who out there is excited for the Z Fold 6 and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech. So first up, before we get into the Z Fold 6, Samsung currently have an incredible Black Friday deal running for those of you that want to grab a bargain on the previous Z Fold 5. It's reduced to $1,349 with a free memory upgrade on top of enhanced trade and offers and you can get up to a further $1,000 off. And all you have to do is click the link down in the description below and then press the option to take you to the Samsung Shop app. Now the discount is only available when you purchase through the link and then press the Samsung Shop app. And there's also plenty of other great offers like the S23 Ultra for $100 with a good enough trade-in and all deals are available until the 3rd of December. So now back to the Z Fold 6 and we've got news about a new design which is something I'm very pleased to see. Many reports have stated that Samsung is taking inspiration from Huawei's Mate X to not only thin down the phone but also provide a wider aspect ratio for the external display. For me, the Fold 5's cover display is just too narrow for my daily use so even a slight change is going to be welcomed. Now there are also rumors that the new design is going to feature a built-in stylus slot on the back of the Z Fold 6 for the S Pen, but to be honest, these are simply just rumors based on a recent patent discovered. Now I think it's very unlikely that this can be implemented into the new Z Fold 6, as not everyone wants to use the S Pen with it, and those that do can simply get an S Pen case. Now if it was housed inside, it would be a completely different story, but given that they're going to be thinning down the device, I think this is very unlikely to happen. Now when it comes to the hardware, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is of course going to be upgrading to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is already shown to be a great performing chipset thanks to leaked benchmarks, and Samsung are also going to be putting a lot of focus into AI on the Z Fold 6. As we've seen, Google have had a lot of success with AI, and now Samsung wants to do the same. It's being branded as Galaxy AI and it comes with many AI features such as an AI Live Translate call which offers real-time audio and text translation during a phone call and it's also all handled on the device itself rather than relying on a cloud service. Now currently it's the only feature announced by Samsung but according to ICE Universe, Galaxy AI is also going to pick the best photo when you've taken multiple photos of the same thing and it's also going to be able to summarize a document or website in one go. Now while the AI is going to utilize both cloud processing and on the device itself, it seems Samsung's focus is to make as much as possible happen on the device so there's going to be no need for any connectivity. We've also seen features like accessing Instagram's camera from the lock screen for the new S24 and this is no doubt going to be passed onto the Fold 6 as well. Next up, we've got great news that the Z Fold 6 is finally going to be getting some dust resistance thanks to a new and improved hinge and display design. Its predecessor came with an IPX rating for water resistance only, but reports are stating that the Z Fold 6 is in fact going to be Samsung's first fold with dust resistance. Now, dust resistance is arguably more important than water resistance, so this is great to hear. Now, the new display is also going to be more durable than the current one, which not only means a longer lasting display, but there's also going to be less visible creasing in the center of the display. Now, there are rumors stating that there's going to be no crease in the middle, but to be honest, we hear these rumors every year and it just never happens. Next up, we've got news that may be disappointing for some of you, and reports are stating that there won't be any changes to the Galaxy Z Fold 6's camera system. Now, Ice Universe advises it's exactly the same as the Fold 4 and the Fold 5, so that's a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then a 10 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom. For such a premium phone, it would be nice to see some camera upgrades, but I guess at the same time it's already an expensive phone, so an expensive camera system would just drive the price even higher. Now, thanks to improvements in software and AI, along with the new chipset, we will still see better photography results than the current Fold. Now, for those excited for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if this is the phone for you. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, we get a 7.6 inch foldable 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. While it's the same size as its predecessor, we're expecting improvements in brightness, color accuracy as well as durability. 
It's coming with a resolution of 1812 by 2176 and it's going to be protected by Samsung's newest ultra thin glass. Now, there's also going to be less visible creasing in the center of the new foldable display, as well as water and dust resistance. For the external display, we get a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. It's going to be a 6.2 inch display, and while the current resolution is unknown at the moment, Samsung are reportedly working on a much wider aspect ratio, and we're also going to see improvements to the brightness and color accuracy, and it will of course have a punch hole camera in the top center. Now, the selfie cameras are going to be a 10 megapixel wide angle camera on the cover display, followed by a 4 megapixel under display camera on the internal display. Then, over on the rear, it's a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then a 10 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom. Now, it's actually the same camera system used in the predecessor, but hopefully, we will still see some improvements thanks to the software. It's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 globally, and we get 12 gigabytes of RAM with up to 1 terabyte of storage, and this will, of course, be UFS 4.1. It's coming with a 4,400 milliamp hour battery, and while fast charging is still currently unknown, we're hoping for improvements to both wired as well as wireless charging. In terms of connectivity, we get advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 7, and then we also get ultra-wideband support, and it's coming with One UI 6 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from $1,850 in August 2024. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is looking to remain fairly similar to its predecessor, and focus is on upgrading the hardware as well as the design and software. It seems that Samsung's main objective is to make the phone thinner and then also widen up the aspect ratio of the external cover display, on top of adding as many AI features as they can. Now, this probably means it's not going to make anyone with the Z Fold 5 rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older Fold or looking to get their first Fold, then it's going to be a great choice. Now, I actually ended up returning my Z Fold 5 because I can't get on with the narrow cover display, so I'm very happy to hear that this may be getting wider. But of course, we are still a little bit away from the official launch, and as soon as anything else comes in, I'm going to be sharing it straight away. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.